A young man was born in a blue blooded family, charismatic, heroic, and brave. Burns the spirits of people around him. His determination is strong to achieve the goal, like a galloping horse. He has an important role in the independence of the nation. People call him Igusti Ketujelanti. There is policy at Isu, the white-skinned and blondy hard person came. A piece of paper with an agreement written on it was handed over. Anger and fury flew the paper into the clouds. People who are in power or can be called the king of Buleling gave a refusal. Igusti Ketujelantik takes orders with open arms. Feeling humiliated and degraded, choose the way of war to solve the problem, revenge for the dignity that has been demanded, lifting each other's words to bring down the opponent. The white flag was flown by Igustika Dujalanti. The flying white flag makes Igustika Dujalanti have to find a safe place to take shelter make a tactic to snatch the wind. An agreement is used as a trap. It makes the Dutch ring the drum of war. Persister make Igusti Ketujelanti at the peak of fighting. The Dutch troops send their expedition again, attacking from all sides. Like being in the middle of a sea of blood, one by one the troops of Igusti Ketujelanti begin to fall. Few troops make the defense weak. Igusti Ketujelanti took this safe action, chose to retreat for a safety, run fast to get a home. Like playing ahead and seek, Igusti Ketujelanti hides behind his fear. Unforeseeable even where a cure. Suddenly, the Dutch attack the king of Bulaleng friends. They were as well on stocks when they saw the incident. Do doing what friends have to do, help the fight with remaining energy. But if it size otherwise, like flowers in our temple, those who sacrifice body and soul have died in the war. The white skinned and blonde haired peoples won the war, taking all the precious treasure and relics.